It's your boy and Gunnar in the house back with another transfer news episode where well, ladies and gentlemen first of all congratulations to Bayern Munich for winning the club world cup they beat uh, Tigres 1-0 yeah they did they did beat them but anyways anyways this episode is also just not about the things that I've already mentioned it in the in the um uh thumbnail of course the new kit has been leaked yes who did it I don't know oh no I do know <laughs> You'll get to know about it, of course. And um, Wilfred Zaha has actually opened up a very, very funny story about Nicola Pepe. Everything will be discussed in this video, so stay tuned and watch the video till the end. If you seek daily Arsenal news, this is the best place to be. This has to be the best place to be, lads. Come on. Anyways, so for those who don't know, we are definitely coming up with um, um, uh, IGFC. The problem is that uh, a lot of people will uh, complain that I have not made them their character. You know what? I it, it was really difficult to make the character, but I would want you. This is just for enjoyment. Uh, if I missed your name, uh, if I did not create a player by your name, I'm pretty much sure this is definitely not going to end. So we would we would play in some other league. Of course, this it's now it's in the championship. We might end up in Bundesliga next time around. So you'll get your chance. So relax, okay? Just just calm down and support the type of content that's coming in and without any further ado let's just jump into what we've got here the first one is about joe willock joe willock has actually said something about um, the social media abuse that the players get he says there's already so much pressure on you i'm playing for arsenal at 2019 2020 my job's in the limelight and you're getting these messages as well it's crazy what it could do to a young boy so the social media abuse that the players deal with on a daily basis joe willock is not ha happy about it and it's too much it takes a lot of toll and um, you know what you can always say that say that the, the football players are earning that much they're celebrities they are uh, they, the media is behind them everything you can talk about them but one thing that you need to understand this as well they are the most easy as you can see social media can definitely give you a lot of fame but also it gives you a lot of abuse and a lot of stick if you don't perform so and obviously you can't have everyone performing every single time. It's just that you got to support the player, man. At one point of time, he gets most abuse from Arsenal players, Arsenal fans. I know that. So, yeah, whatever. Well, moving on. So, there's a story that Nicola Pepe might not want you to hear. And Wilfred Zaha, in a recent interview, opened up about it. He says, Arsenal star Nicola Pepe has been revealed to be the roommate from hell because of his snoring sounding like motorbike engine yes wilfred saha <laughs> uh, but he's just as annoying for pals according to wilfred zaha the crystal palace forward says he was forced to ask bosses to let him move rooms after being paired with pepe while on ivory coast duty now zaha told on the judy podcast he says oh my days nicola pepe i asked to leave the room I went and I asked to leave the room because he sounded like a motorbike. It was mad. It was crazy. I was like, no. These are the five first times as well when I went with Ivory Coast. They let me move and share rooms with Solomon Kalou. And he was like, bro, I know. And Pepe isn't the only teammate to get on Zaha's nerves either. There are more. There are more. I just can't reveal uh, about that. Of course not. Um, Ravel Morrison. You can actually read the story uh, on the internet. It's already there. Ravel Morrison also got on his nerves, but Nicola Pepe, because of his motorbike kind of snoring sounds, was. Yeah. That just killed everything. Moving on. So, John Jordan has opened up about his future at Sevilla in the summer. Now, we all know that this transfer window, the transfer window that actually went, the January transfer window, John Jordan was supremely linked to Arsenal. Of course, he was linked to the other club as well. But John Jordan linked to linking, being linked to Arsenal a lot because Arsenal are looking to actually replace, uh, actually to find Thomas Partey's partner in that midfield. So John Jordan has actually dismissed reports that he could join Arsenal in the summer. Now he has insisted that he is delighted to be playing for Sevilla. According to, uh, he actually spoke to El Desmark. He says, I do not see myself outside of Sevilla at all. And it is a reality. The second year in Abar, I did see certain reasons to go away. But now I am in a spectacular club with ambition, with demand, and that is what my body asks for. It is the ideal place to keep improving and do great things. 
uh, with the club. I am delighted to be here and my mind is here. So, Joan Jordan's mind is in Sevilla and it looks like he might stay rather than move away. No, I did not mean to rhyme that. No, no chance. No chance. There was no, no chance that I was looking to rhyme that. But anyways, well, it looks like UEFA is increasingly confident it's planned Champions League revamp will be agreed by next month despite opposition from leagues. They want to replace the current group stage of the Champions League with a 36-team single table. And the Sunsport have revealed in December the most controversial aspect of the proposals with three of the four extra places being awarded via UEFA's coefficient of previous European results. Now that could see up to six Premier League sides in the competition when the restructure is due to happen, that is 2024 to 2025 season comes to effect. It opens the way for Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United and Spurs to all share millions in extra Euro revenue from 2024. All right, the, the, the logo that you're actually seeing right now, well, Adidas will release an off-pitch lifestyle collection for their five elite teams with pastel colors in spring. Arsenal's Adidas 2021 collection will combine the main color of white with rose. We will uh, be revealing that towards the end of the video. You guys will enjoy that, not to mention, but... Moving on, talking about more stuff, well, As well, Mikel Arteta receives £40 million transfer boost as Arsenal fans go wild over latest concept kit leak. Yes, the concept key kit leak has been emerged. You can see the footy headlines have actually revealed this. Well, Arsenal supporters have been left with an image inside their heads about what next season's away shirt could look like after one was leaked online. Popular football website Footy, he Footy Headlines, who often release images of kit leaks and uh, provide a range of other kit-related topics, uploaded images of Arsenal's 2021-2022 away shirt, which could look like uh, it could be based on the designs made by a FIFA kit creator. Two designs have been released, both of which are in Pearl Train. One of the shirts sport a blue trim and other of course, uh, um, uh, and other a burgundy one, whilst the Adidas logo and of course uh, the Emirates Fly, all right, sorry, the Emirates Fly Better sponsorship feature. Um, yeah, you could see that. So they feature um, as well. So yeah, uh, could be the change in the crest with the cannon having uh, been added to both instead of the modern day Arsenal Club crest. Although. Yeah, this 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 is the kind of addition that they're trying to do the Adidas logo and the crest the the, the gunners uh, kind of a thing now the biggest thing is that uh, Arsenal stars made an immediate Im uh, oh, sorry uh, the the good part about it is that uh, a lot of fans have actually said certain things about the beauty of the kit now what they've said is that a uh, butte would be surprised if they charged uh, changed the badge though that would honestly be superb take all my money and some I won't have any money left will I I will buy 10 of these if it's true. Take my money now. No, it looks like it's a uh, it looks like it's a retro shirt, Arsenal shirt. How our kids should be. Unpopular opinion. That seemed to be the best kit in in Arsenal history. Another one said need to make the badge just a cannon. Get rid of the cartoony one we have now. So some some people don't want to get rid of, get rid of the badge because that would actually change the whole um, tradition in some sorts. I don't know does it anyways some people have to say that but yeah not me I don't have to say that but moving on also this is exactly going to be the Arsenal's uh, to Adidas 2021 collection will combine the main color of white and rose the pastel pack is what they actually are calling so yes and the prediction of Arsenal's 2021-2022 uh, away kit based on leaked information which has 40% accuracy it is set for release in July 2021. The kit's main color is pearl citrine and with either red or blue applications, it will include the return of the Canon logo and crew neck collar. Yep, that is the headline. Also, we're going to talk about um, Joe Willock. Of course, uh, he's got some words of appreciation from his current manager and that is Steve Bruce. Now, Arsenal star made an immediate impact on Tyne's side. So this is what Bruce had to say. He said, 
Uh, we are delighted when a new signing walks through the door, you wonder whether to put them on the bench or not. Then we said, we brought the kid into play, so let him play. To score after 15 minutes, he will remember his debut. It's the quickest by any debutant, so great for him. So quickest by any debutant for Newcastle. How crazy is that? This is really crazy news. But what's more crazier is the new kit. Let me know in the comments, how do you guys write, rate this new kit that is actually being leaked by Footy Headlines. So if you, if you guys like it, I think it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a one of our retro kit. I think we had this kind of a kit uh, during Arsene Wenger as well. But whatever it is, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So with this, I end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do join in for the IGFC 4 p.m. Uh, live, 4 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So do join in for that. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.